my name is Mark Milia and I appreciate you watching this video. I'd like to try and help you learn how to use your sling a little bit better so that when you get home from the hospital you know how to, how to deal with it. The first thing I would say is if you take your sling off and just kind of look at it, there's a bunch of straps. Each strap on the shoulder harness has um, Velcro that can make it tighter for you. Once you get to know your straps, you'll be able to adjust it better. There's a strap that actually goes across the arm portion and then around the thumb. And then if you look at the uh, ball that's there, it's right next to a waist strap. And that strap can be adjusted both in the back, right there, or in the front. Now the advantage of knowing that is that it'll help you take your sling off. So when you remove your sling, it's best to be sitting down uh, either on a bed or a sofa. Once again, I'm just showing here that the strap should be so that your neck is comfortable, but first you just take the sling off by unclicking these two buttons that are by the wrist and then swinging the shoulder strap around next to you and then you unclick the one that's by your waist. Once you take the one by your waist off, you can then remove the strap that's across the top of your forearm and then by your thumb and then just slide the sling out from underneath your arm. And you can see in this video I'm not moving my arm very much. Now in order to get the shoulder moving without hurting anything, especially if you've had a rotator cuff repair, you just let your arm hang. Maybe move it five or six inches in each direction. You are allowed to bend your elbow or even raise your shoulders, but I don't want you to raise your arm away from your body. That way it'll protect whatever has been repaired in your shoulder. Now getting dressed is a little bit trickier. When you get dressed, it's best to be sitting down. I always put the, the surgical arm in first so you don't have to move the arm around. And you reach around behind you to put the shirt on. It's best to use button downs for the first week or so until you get situated. Now putting the sling on is essentially the same as taking it off, just in reverse. And so you just make sure all the attachments have been loosened up. So I've unclicked the clips at the front, I've undone the thumb strap and the forearm strap, and I've put the waist strap behind me. That way you can just set the sling underneath your arm without moving your shoulder much. And then the next thing you want to do is at attach the forearm strap so it keeps your elbow back. You then reach behind you to grab the waist strap and click it on the front, and then you bring the strap over around your neck and attach it to the clips on the front by your wrist. You can certainly do the, uh, adjust the strap around your neck so that that pad is closer to your neck and doesn't hurt. And then finally the thumb is attached. Now if you have any questions, there's the email to my assistant, there's our phone number, and our email to the scheduling department. I'd like to make this as simple as possible for you. Thanks for watching.